<laughs> yeah. It's, you, do, you don't know what it means to have a great man of God. Good morning, sir. Oh, good day, good sir. Mor- g- good morning, sir. Oh, Jordan. God. This this is dream come true. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh. Finally. Really great having you. I'm so honored. I know Thank that you, you have your... It, it's, it's 9 p.m. right now, right? Yeah, Over there, it's, past it's, nine? Uh, it, Over there? It, it, it's, it's, at, it's at 3 p.m. It's at 3 p.m. 8 at 3 p.m. Wow. Thank yeah. you. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. You, you know, uh, it's you a know joy. what? I was, it's a joy. I was, to I was, it's really, really a joy, you know, and I, I, I don't want to say it's the devil or whatever it is. All it means is I need to get a new phone and, you know, and we're good to go. All right. Um, so thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Uh, it's still amazing how I have not met you. I don't even know how we connected, <laughs> but I think I told I you, you, you know, I saw, I told I, yeah. I saw you, I, I, I saw something you spoke about and then I follow because, you know, when I come online, I'm careful of the people that I follow. You know, it's very, very important. Um, they influence your life. Um, that's yes, why I'm blocked on Instagram because I say to myself, if I continue following this person, if I continue seeing this person, you know, it will not, it will not take me to where I want to go. And the fact mm. is that you're a young person and then you've achieved the things that, you know, God has helped you achieve because I know that you've achieved it by the glory grace of God. God. Glory and because God. you, glory you have God. vision for yourself, you, you knew what you wanted to achieve. You said to yourself, I have, in the past three weeks now, I realized that what you say with your mouth is very powerful. But mm-hmm. when you have the thought, you, mm-hmm. when you have the thought and you see your mouth is established, it will surely come yes, because you absolutely. said it. It's you a know, principle. And, and, and so I, 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 I know that the way it is, I, I'm, I'm very, very sensitive. I know that we're talking about purpose mm. in the, in the midst of, uh, in the midst of, uh, crisis. pandemic. Thank you for mm, your time. Mm. Uh, in the midst of crisis. Yeah, thank you. So I, 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 I just wanted to, me. yeah. <laughs> we're going to take another 30 minutes later, you know. It, it could be on Facebook. I'm going to ask you how you did the Facebook thing with, um, um, oh, uh, Bishop Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yes, we'll yes. talk about that. We should talk about that maybe on WhatsApp okay, or so something. Please, I'm happy to. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, please, please, could you just, uh, just let, let's, let, let's start and, 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 and quickly round up. Yes. So about purpose, can you please, um, um, you could just give us a summary of, you know, um, not a summary. Mm. Please speak. Let's, let's enjoy ourselves. Okay, just let me know right. because you'll be the one to let me know it's time for you to round up. Yes. All right. All right. Um, I believe very strongly that purpose is a defining uh, element in the life of every one of us. And it, in a crisis like this, uh, it's a call to leadership. It's a call to the fulfillment of purpose. Crisis, I'll say it one more time, is a call to leadership. Um, and if you don't know your purpose, within a crisis like this, there's a likelihood you are going to be depressed, you're going to be sad, and you're going to wonder where life is leading you. But purpose helps us to be certain in the midst of uncertainties. The purpose of God helps us to realize that we are living for something bigger than us. And nothing Mm. can threaten our lives. One of the things I believe very strongly is that nothing should die unless its purpose is fulfilled. That means that unless your purpose is fulfilled, Nothing can kill you. (laughs) And that's if you're living your purpose. So when a man is in purpose, when a man knows his purpose, that person cannot be murdered unless his purpose is fulfilled. So what is this purpose that we're talking about? Purpose is the original idea, the original desire. In the mind of the creator of a thing, for creating that thing, This means that every creator would have thoughtfully, carefully thought about their invention before they go ahead to create it. And God is the author of purpose. That means God thought about you and I very carefully, consciously, intentionally, Mm. mindfully curated you, formed you, shaped you, gave you the voice that you have. Give you the shape of your head like yes. it is, whether it's a triangle or a rectangle, whether 
<laughs> yes. people have been abusing your, you know, about your hair or your square. Whatever shape of your head, God yes. was intentional. He gave you the way you walk. Yes, sir. Whether people think you have a bow leg or you have some kind of, you know, leg, it does not matter. God was mm. very intentional. Mm. He was very cautious. He mm. was very careful, thoughtful, mindful. Not conscious mm. when he was creating you and gave you every single thing that you have now because of the purpose that he has given to you. I was studying the life of Moses in the Bible not too long ago, and one of the things that I realized about Moses was so powerful. Do you know that God, Moses was born in the midst of slavery. He was actually born when the Israelites yes. were in slavery. And God intentionally mm. created Moses, intentionally crafted Moses, carefully formed Moses to deliver the Israelites out of the hands of the Egyptians. <laughs> that was why yes, sir. Moses, Moses, by the time Moses woke up, you know, and, and, and grew up, he thought, he, he, he had a consciousness of that purpose, but he wanted to fulfill the purpose by himself, mm. with his own strength, with his own energy, <laughs> and decided mm. to start to, you know, uh, uh, you know, separate fights between the Egyptians and, uh, and, and Israelites, and even killed one of the, one of the Egyptians. Yes. <laughs> and that became a yes. problem. Yes. The point I'm trying to make is this. Yes. God was intentional about creating you. God was careful yes, about creating you. I don't care mm. what your parents have mm. told you about how, 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 you, know, how you came mm. to be. How they get you know, mm. <laughs> there are some children we call Bolu Atife. You know, in, 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 in Yoruba, <laughs> Bolu Atife means, <laughs> Bolu Atife means, uh, uh, we were not planning you, child, or, you know, <laughs> at all. God just made you happen. And your parents yes, may have even yes. given you that name and, and they may have called mm. you that name and, and tell you that you are a mistake, you were not planned, you were, yes. you know, you just, happened. yes, yeah. listen, yes. they may not have mm. planned you. But God, God planned carefully you. planned you. And there is a mm. specific Hallelujah. assignment, a specific problem, mm. a specific need yes, that sir. God created yes, you to come and meet on the surface of the earth. When you understand yes, this, 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 this concept that I'm sharing with you, you will never mm. compete with anybody. When you understand this yes, concept sir. that I'm sharing with you, your confidence will rise up mm. times hundred. When you understand this concept yes, that I'm sir. talking about, uh, I'm talking about, you will mm. tap into the grace of mm. God on your inside. When you understand this concept I'm talking mm. about, your inferiority complex will disappear. When you understand this concept I'm yes. talking about, you will never be depressed, oppressed, or feel reduced, reduced used, and abused. You will always stand on your <laughs> my goodness. You will always stand mm. so confident. So people will think you are yes, proud. Sir. No, you are not proud. Mm. You are just you are operating from a different reality, a reality that is mm. different, a reality that is unique, mm. a reality that is divine, a reality that is God, that is of God. And that's why it's so important to understand the purpose of God for your life. And there yes, are sir. six places to look for your purpose. Yes. And to the glory of God, this is a proprietary framework that I'm about to give to you. After many years of studying mm. purpose, God gave me this framework mm. and I want to share with you six places to look for mm. your purpose. Number one, you, you can look up. You can look oh. up. And what do I mean by looking up? Look to God. Look oh. to God. The Bible says, I will lift up my oh. eyes unto the hill from whence cometh my help. Look up to God oh, yeah. and ask mm. God. You remember where we started from? Purpose is the original idea yes. for creating a thing mm. by the creator. And God created yes. you. Forget about all this evolution theory and nonsense. All right. God created you. He was very yes, careful to create mm. you. And there's no yes. better place to find your purpose than to go to God and go to him straight forward. Yes. Say, Lord, why did you create me? Why yes, did you sir. create me? And then he will tell you. you. And that was the story of my life. Let mm. me tell you a, a small story. See, in 2013, mm. I graduated with a PhD to the glory of God. And mm. at a very young age, I was yes. 26 years old at, at that time. And to me, wow. that was that was that was a high point of success. And I was asking myself. You said you said no no oh, yes, oh, please, please, no no please. you said you said he was in what year? Uh, 26 years old, sir. In 2013. You so. were 2013. Yes. Let's continue, please. No, I'm almost so forgetting you your PhD so. in 20, 26 years. No, 26 yeah, years old, you're a PhD older. Yeah, yeah. Just glory I'm just saying it's not because of some people, but let's continue, please. Yeah, yeah. All right. So after after having my PhD, after bagging the PhD, I remember asking myself mm. this question: Is there all there is to life? You know, because yes. that's a level of success that that can that yes. can that can get you too excited, that can get you proud. Mm. But but for me, yes. it was an intro, it, it, it came with an introspection. I kept on asking myself. Is this all there is to life? Is this, is this what success is all about? And, and, and after a while, in 2016, to be, to be precise, that 2016, 
I heard a message. Mm. One of the things about me is I'm a very multi-talented young man. To the glory of God, I yeah. do graphic design, I do web development, I sing songs, I play instruments, I play keyboard, I, I write songs, I write poetry, um, I, I speak, I teach, I, write, I, I, you know, I train, I do, I do tons of things. All right? and, and in that 2016, I heard a message from a man of God that scared me. And that message was, to mm. whom much is given, much is expected. Right? Much Just expected. exactly as it yes. is in the Bible. And I started to become yes. afraid of all the things I could do. Because before that time, mm. see, I, all the things that I could do, I was busy but not effective. I was making motion but not progress. And you could be watching this right now. Your life is defined the way I'm defining it right now. You are busy but not no progress. You are, in fact, you are frustrated. Mm. People are calling you mm. left and center but for nothing in particular. And so, and, and no mm. one is paying you. You are not capturing value. Your life is just, your life is just there. It can be very frustrating and I understand where you're coming from. Mm. So stay tuned and don't go yeah. anywhere. And that was what yes, happened sir. to me in that 2016. And then I started to ask God. I said, Lord, all these gifts that you have given unto me. In fact, that man of God said that all these gifts that God has given to you, God we God will hold you accountable. <laughs> yes, God, so, God will hold you He's looking for something in return. And then I went to God, I said, God, yes, all these things that you have given unto me. For what reason? Mm. For what purpose? Mm. Help me understand. Yes. Why have you why why, yes. why can I play music? Why can I do graphic design? Why can I do web development? Why 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 do I like mm. colors? Uh, like colors? Why do I like mm. to teach? Why do I like to speak? Why do I like to write? I think the reason why, why you I like I think the reason mm. why you like uh, colors was because you came out in flying colors. I think that's why <laughs> um yeah. I, I think that's why that's why you like colors. I, must must, I don't want to let you know. Yes, yes, yes. It must be it's, it must be the wow. five colors that I was flying with, you know. And then wow. and then I, wow. I I spent some time in prayer. You know, if you're if you're just joining us, we're talking about six places to find your purpose. And number one, we're talking about mm. looking up. So I decided I was go- going to pray. Yes, about looking it. up. And then I told mm. God, I said, Lord, what is the reason for creating me? And at one point in time, yes, God spoke. God spoke to me. He said, Help people discover their purpose. Mm. And I took, I took, yes, I took that let, I took that mm. word, that phrase, that sentence. Mm. I took it word for word. Help people discover mm. their purpose. You know, uh, if you ask anybody that has known me before 2016, they will tell you my life was ineffective before 2016. Yeah, was, Even though I backed the PhD, the first, six, my life was very ineffective. Mm. But from mm. that day onward, there was a massive transformation in my life. It just took Thank a whole new Jesus. turn. Why? Because my life didn't focus. My life, I, I yes, discovered, I, I discovered my significance. I discovered why I was unique. Yes, I discovered what I was here yes, to do, what I was on earth to do. And in case you're just, you're yes. watching us until you discovered why you are here, why you are here on earth, until you discovered why you are alive, until you discovered the yes. source, the reason for your existence, my, um, you would mm. always live like a square peg in a round hole. Mm. Mm. You, or you will live like a round peg in a square hole. Mm. Life will be frustrating. Yes. You always feel depressed and you'll be too anxious. Mm. And if, if you're not careful, that anxiety will kill you. That's why it's really yes. important to find your purpose. Mm. And that was what I did. I went yeah. to God and he gave me that clear purpose on a plan. And my life has since yes. changed. I will tell you what, how mm. my life changed later on. Let's go to number two. Yes. Number two place number to look two. is to look within you. See, look within, within every you. man, within every man are resources so powerful that God has packed in there for the fulfillment of purpose. Mm. And there are three mm. key things that you must look for within you. Number one, your gifts, mm. which we also call mm. talents. Things that you yes. do so effortlessly, that you do as if you yes. are supremely, divinely qualified to do it, that only you can do it the way you do it. You know, like when you listen yes, to Sarko, when you listen to Sasa go down mm. and he begins to do mm. his comedy. Mm. Yes, basket man mm. can be there. Other people can be there, but the, nobody can do yeah. it the way he does it, the way he will do it. Yes. Let me say it again. Yes, you <laughs> that, When you understand yes, this truth, I am saying you will not compete with anybody. And I always say you can compete with the ability of a man, but you cannot compete with the grace of God upon the man, man's life. I'm going to say that yes, again sir. so that somebody can write it down. Mm. You can compete yes. with the abilities of a man. But you can never mm. compete with the grace of God upon the life of that man. That grace was given for the fulfillment of purpose. So if you like... Hey, my pastor. Yes, sir. I, I, yes, sir. I, I just wanted to let you know, Pastor Waleola Dinyu is here. He just, oh, he just glory to God, in. sir. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, Thank you, so Thank, you much, sir. Sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. joining us, sir. So there, there are yeah. inherent gifts that God has given you, and that gift yes, comes with grace, a unique grace, mm-hmm. an uncommon grace, <laughs> a grace mm-hmm. that if somebody tries to run with you, they will never catch up. If somebody tries At to run with you, they will just die. <laughs> they will just lose them both. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's like trying to run mm-hmm. with you. They will just lose them both, and you just both them. Just like, where was that guy? 
you that was, you know, die. two years, three years. <laughs> you, you, you know, it, it, you have to say two, three, four years. That's a, that guy that was uh, competing with you, where he's faced well, out. He's, he's, he's competing. They will, they will burn out. They will, they will burn out. Because what yes. they are running with, yes. they, they are running with, they, they are running with a foil that they are not supremely qualified with. They are running with a foil, yes. a, a foil that they are not divinely given. And it's dangerous to run with yes. that kind of foil. So, your mm. inherent gifts. There are some things that you do that you find joy in doing. For some people, it's yes, cooking. Sir. Listen, pay attention yes. to those things. If, if you enjoy mm. cooking and you love to cook, please continue to cook. Don't listen to people who tell mm. you that uh, who makes money from cooking. Mm, 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 mm. Don't listen to them. Listen. People make money. <laughs> Money, 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 money is not the only uh, only thing in life that that that, that gives us yes. joy and fulfillment. Yes. In fact, mm. fulfillment trumps money any time, any day. I always tell people this: fulfillment trumps fulfillment money. What? Yes, trumps. It, it trumps. trumps money any time, any day. <laughs> in fact, I see Trump, people Donald who Trump have money. Like to hear that <laughs> word, Yes. I've, yes. I've, I've seen Fulfillment people. Trumps money. Ah, it, okay. it trumps money any time, any day. I have seen people who have money and still yet commit suicide. <laughs> I've yes, seen sir. people who are who are very rich. I'm not talking about maybe because they they run into bank debt. That's why they commit suicide. suicide. No, mm. they were just empty on the inside. Mm. They were not fulfilled. So listen, mm. <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to chasing money, forget it. If you if if cooking is what you feel you've been supremely qualified to do, divinely and graced to do, mm. keep doing it. Do it every day. Learn yes, everything sir. about it. Yes, Refine that gift. Yes, do sir. everything to make mm. sure you become a master and cooking. Wow, this is why I love the words mm. of the Bible in Genesis chapter one. 28, the word of what God was very clear. The Bible says, and God blessed man. <laughs> he blessed mm. man. He says, be fruitful, multiply, and have dominion. Yes, purpose sir. is the yes, source sir. of dominion. When you are living your mm. purpose, you begin to rule and reign. Dominion means ruling and reigning. Mm. Anytime a man discovers his purpose, and that man is living out his purpose, he is a new king in town. The, the whole world yes, is sir. forced to listen. The whole world is forced to reckon mm. with you. If you are cooking mm. and you have been supremely qualified to cook, everybody Everybody will want to taste your cooking. Even if you give people yes. your recipe, they will never be able to cook it like you. There are some people that when they At cook all. a goosey soup, eh, and you collect the recipe, they will give you all the recipe. They will even tell you that you should fry that thing for forty-five with in forty-five degrees and uh, and and, do, and for forty-five seconds and uh, in forty-five <laughs> degrees temperature and keep it for five minutes and keep it for two minutes. Yes. You will, no matter how hard you try, your your. <laughs> <laughs> yours, yours mm. can never taste like them. Why? You are doing yes. yours with a natural hand. They are doing theirs yes, with sir. a supernatural hand. And this is why I always yes. say that every time you mm. fulfill purpose, it is God expressing mm. Himself through you. <laughs> yes, sir. It is God every expressing time. in expressing Himself. Mm. Anytime you fulfill purpose, it is God expressing Himself through you. I came up through with a, 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 mm. I came up with a, a, a framework. Not, uh, not too yes. long ago, about about a year ago, that I called the dimension of God in you, and that that mm. that, that that thing I, I share it everywhere I go to the glory of God. I've been in grace mm. all over the world, and this this mm. one thing has changed people's life. The dimension of yes, God sir. in you speaks about an ability that you have. Yes, you watching me right now, the ability that yes, you sir. have. Listen, that you do at uh, the level uh, of God. With Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. Take control, Lord. Take control of this. Hello, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You're back. Sorry, you're back. Uh, uh, you're back. You're back. yes. 
<laughs> yes, I'm back. I'm back. Yes, thank you. Praise, praise God. So yeah. as 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 we Hallelujah. were saying, as we as we, as we were saying, yes. I was talking about I was talking about a, a, an idea, a concept that God gave me a, a, not too long ago that I called the dimension yes. of God in you, and 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 what God the showed dimension me, of God. What God showed me is mm. that every human being, seven point something billion of us on the surface of the earth, God when He created human uh, when He created us all, God could not yes. have put His entire self. Inside every human being. Because if God yes, puts himself, his whole self, inside one human being, that human being will become God, capital G. Mm. And that would, that would completely go against the nature of God. Right? Mm. So what did God do? God divided himself. You know, like we learned in chemistry, atoms. Into yes. every man. God yes. is so mighty that that he could divide himself into every man. <laughs> and that, yes, is, that division is what I call the dimension of God on your inside. How do I know this? Genesis chapter, mm. uh, chapter, chapter 2 verse 7 speaks about the, the, that, that God formed man and he breathed into yes. man yes. the breath of life. And man became Hallelujah. a living soul. That, is, mm. that was when God impacted, <laughs> praise God, that was when God Hallelujah. impacted his dimension into every man. Pastor Wale, <laughs> pa, pa, yeah, 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 what my pastor just said. He just said, he wants me to talk to you. We're going to talk about you later. Pastor, I hope you know who Pastor Wale is. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, he's a I senior pastor of sure. CLAM. I'm not too sure. Please forgive me. Ah, no, he's a senior pastor of CLAM. I, you oh, know, my, wow. my, my prayer. <laughs> yes, of CLAM. Yeah. You know what? Yes. Praise yes. God. So, Praise God. Praise you, God. Yes. Daddy, I'm going to talk to you after, to after, after now. I, I don't know if, if, if that is even going to be, if, if you're going to, to connect it after, maybe we'll just allow. Take control, take control, take control of this network. Yes, In Jesus' yes, name, yes, take yes, control. Yes, mm. yes, I can hear Please, you. I can hear you again. You have more? How many minutes do you have more? How many minutes do you have more from as your long side? As, as long as you want me to have. As long as you want me oh, to have. I have but, another. You know, you said you had another, another class. Session. I thought you said you had another yeah, class. Yes, I have another live session okay, in one good. hour. Okay. In one hour. In a one hour. So we're not. I'm not here. <laughs> okay, okay. That's why I was. That was why I was a little. Yeah. All right. No so, rush. So, no so, rush. Let me. Let me. Yes. No rush. No rush. So, so what I'm suggesting is, if our father. Okay, so what I'm suggesting is if our father is still, if, 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 if Pastor Ola, Ola is still here, he's just going to, I'm, maybe I'm just going to bring him up to just pray for us on the yes, purpose, and then you'll come back. Please, yes. please, so please. If, please. If, please. Uh, let, let me see if I, uh, yes, he's here. Okay, let me go ahead. Okay, uh, no, Papa is here, let him go ahead. Uh, no, no, <laughs> let, let me, let me, <laughs> Papa is here, let him go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so, pin is, okay. God, so, so what will happen is, as, as, as our father is here, our pin is, our pin is, let him go ahead, so we to go ahead. So once like another God. 20 minutes or 15 minutes, is going to pray. Yeah, just, I'm going to just allow mm. you to just relax so you can pray, pray over. Our, yes, thank you. Thank, let's go. Praise God. You can continue now, please. Praise God. Praise yeah. God. Uh, thank you, yes. Daddy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, for, 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 I, I really appreciate that. You know, I was talking about the dimension of God in every man. Of God in you. And I, and yes. I said Genesis earlier on, by the grace, yes, the dimension yes. of God in every man. I said earlier on that 7 point yes. something billion of us all over the world, God could not have put his entire mm. self inside any man. If it did that, it would go against who he is, right? That, that would be that man who would turn to God, capital G. But what he did mm. was to actually divide himself. And like I said, in chemistry, we call that atoms. He divide atoms of yes. himself in every man. And we proved it from mm. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. The Bible says, and God, and, and God formed man and breathed into man the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Hear this. Mm. What makes you a living soul is the breath of God on your inside. It's the dimension. Yes, that dimension. I'm going to explain what that dimension is. Very soon. Don't go away. Don't go yes, anywhere. Yes. There's the dimension not, not of going, God on your away. inside. There is... <laughs> there is there is a there is a part of God that every man carries. Let me say that again. There is mm. a part of God that every man carries. And listen to this. There's a part of God that is that that, that, that is musical. <laughs> and and if you mm. carry that part of God, that's why when you sing, everybody goes ah and they open their mouth and they cannot close it. There is a part of God that is graphical. And that's why when you design mm. that graphics and you make that website, everybody goes ah. 
There's a part of God mm. that, is, that, 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 that is in the kitchen, that is cooking. And by the time you make your food, nobody can cook your food the way you cook it. What you don't understand yes. is you think you are doing it with a natural hand. You are doing it with a supernatural hand. You are, there is something mm. that every man does at the level of God. At the level of capital G-O-D, there is something, there is one thing, at least one thing mm. in every man that every man does at the level of God, at the level of the supernatural. Yes. That's why when you yes, hear sir. Beyonce and you hear Rihanna, it is not them doing it. It is God express. It is that dimension of God. It's that nature of God. It's that atomic part of God. It is that breath that God breathed in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 that is singing through them. <laughs> you will listen to them and you go and you just dance and listen to the album. That is God expressing himself through them. It's the expression of that breath of life. It's the expression of that dimension that is actually taking place. Mm. And this is so powerful yes. because when you understand this, you will, you will, you will walk with one powerful aura. You will walk with one power. Mm. You, you will never be depressed. You will never, you will never have low self-esteem. When you understand this truth mm. I am sharing with you, <laughs> you know, yes. you better share this video with some of your friends. Anybody you yes, love so I'm much, let them share. watch this video. <laughs> yes. yes. See, yes, there is I'm a sure. dimension of God for your life, uh, on your yes, life, sir. in your life. That mm. makes you exceptional. Mm. That makes you yes, unique. Sir. For you, it may be cooking. Mm. There's a dimension of God that is photographic. <laughs> and that's why mm. when you take photos, even the person that is ugly will become fine. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is not the camera that Hallelujah. is functioning. It is the dimension of God on your inside. God. There is a dimension mm. of God that is oratory. And that's why when you speak, mm. the whole world must listen. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that's why when, when the Bible says, when, when God said, let there be light, there was light. That's why when you listen to people like yes. Obama, and you listen to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and you listen to Tony Robbins, you understand the dimension of God that I'm talking about. The, those people, have, yes. it's, a, it's a natural gift. It's, the, the, <laughs> my goodness, mm. it's a powerful gift. You have it too. My God, you have it too. Yes. And if there's anything I want to stress, you have mm. it too. Yes. Your problem you have it too. is that you have been chasing economic status, financial status. Mm. You want to mm. get rich quick and you have lost mm. that part. You have forgotten that part. Mm. If mm. you can find that nature of God on your inside, that dimension of God on your inside, I promise you, you'll never be poor again. Oh, yes, maybe you don't understand what I'm talking about. That thing that you do so supernaturally well, if you mm. find it and you begin to do it and you pour your entire life into it, whether it is preaching, whether it is speaking, whether it is teaching, whether it is writing, whether it is cooking, whether it is fashion design, whatever it is, that dimension of God on your inside, the day you find it, that day you will never have to run the rat race again. That day you don't chase survivor, you begin to thrive. That day you don't live, <laughs> you don't live anyhow, you don't walk like anybody else, you don't talk mm. like everybody else, you move like the way God has created you, your uniqueness will stand out, your significance will stand out, your, your influence will begin, mm. you will begin to command influence and not just any influence anyhow i'm talking about transgenerational influence the kind of influence that when you are dead yes, and gone people will still be reading your works people will be still be trying mm. to cook like you people will still be able to they'll mm. be trying to draw like you like people are trying to do hats mm. like picasso and so on and so forth because mm. it is the nature of god it is the dimension mm. of god on their inside number mm. three place to look mm. because of our time let's move forward quickly yes we've talked about looking up to the glory looking of god we've also talked about looking forward. within Looking within. Try to not yes. permit me. There's also, yes. there's also, there's also passion. You know, there's also your temperament. Mm. I'm actually working on a yes. book right now, Purpose in Crisis. Yes. So, watch out for that yes. book. We it can... will change your life forever. Yes. It's more detailed in the book. Yeah. And yes. <laughs> the third place to look is to actually look forward. To look forward. See, eh, it's mm. one thing to find purpose. It's another thing for purpose to find you. <laughs> and yes, one sir. way, one way, one way purpose finds us is that it can be a pool into our future. Let me say that again. Yes. Purpose can serve as a pool into our future. Mm. Watch out for mm. that dream you had that will never or has never gone away. Let me say that again. That vision of your mm. highest self, 
that dream of your of of of, in, of an ideal future that God has given you since you mm. were twelve, since you were ten, since you were fourteen, yes. and you had no idea uh, 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 how, how it will happen. You know, listen to me. It's yes, I coach. Somebody just said, "Do I coach?" Absolutely, I'm a coach. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about yes. we'll talk about that at the end. Yes. Let's just finish this. Part. Yes. <laughs> I'm a coach. You can reach out yes. to me later on. Right? The, 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 you, 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 when you when you realize that there is a vision of your highest self that is not given to you by you. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is just about making impact. That is just about blessing lives. That is just about mm. shaking generations. You will soon yes, realize sir. that that is purpose calling out your name. Every, yes, every sir. human being has that pool. Every human being has that pool. For me, yes, but to the glory of God, when I was young, I just always admire preachers on the TV. I, I, mm. Every time I see somebody, I will, I will, I will be saying, I will be like that. I will preach like that. I will speak oh. like that. It's mm. a pool into my future. <laughs> yes, and sir. that's why when I, when, I, when I got one job like that, <laughs> and, I, and I got the job and it was a support analyst in an IT environment, I hated the job. I hated my life. I was frustrated. <laughs> I, I hated it support massively. Support analyst. <laughs> support analyst. Because, and that's why I put on my, on, I put on my Instagram lately, one of my, my, one of my last posts, I said, if you're working very hard in a place that is outside of your purpose, of your gifting, you will be, be frustrated. And it's not a curse. Yes. Because when God did not because. create you for something and you are doing it, you, you will be frustrated. Mm. Ask, ask Sasa. Mm. <laughs> the day he, yes. he found that this is what he has been built to do, called to do, there's an extraordinary oh, measure of joy, oh, extraordinary measure yes. of ease. It will just look like you are working yes. under the anointing. You will be cooking and you will be yes. feeling the anointing. You will be writing and you will be yes. feeling the anointing. You will be dancing and you will mm. be feeling the anointing. You will be acting drama and you will be feeling the anointing. It is not you. Mm. It is the expression That's of all. God on your inside. There is a pull. Yes. There is a pull towards purpose. Because of time, let's yes. go on to the next one. The num- number four place to look four, four. is, yes. is to yes. look, 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 at, look behind you. Look, mm. look back. I call it look back. Look at yes. some of the experiences of life. Mm. That, that, that has shaped you. Mm. <laughs> There's some experiences of life that are not, that are not ordinary. They, they are cues to your purpose. They are things that God allowed to happen to show you where He's taking you. I was talking about Moses mm. the other day. Remember Moses, sir? <laughs> Moses, yes, yes. Mo- Moses killed that Egyptian. Mm? Yes. And that, and that happened away. to be his past. But that mm. was his cue to his purpose. If, mm. if we if we base the entire framework on Moses, we cannot exhaust it. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, talking about to, talking about looking forward. Moses too had this pool, this pool to just save the Israelites. He just wanted to yes. save the Israelites. <laughs> you know, yes. he, 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 nobody asked him. Oh, he just he just yes. wanted to save. <laughs> that's why. Mm. That's why he, he, he was so burning with passion to save the Israelites. He had to kill an Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. You know, <laughs> so you, in case you're watching this right now, there is some, there is this, there is this great desire, this great passion mm. that just will never go away. That keeps pulling you into your future. Don't neglect it. Your problem yes, is that you have been weighing it with financial and economic reasons, and that's why you have not started. That's why you are stuck. Mm. That's why you are frustrated. Mm. <laughs> and you look. <laughs> please don't neglect it. Going talk, uh, going back to looking back. Even yes. if you have been raped in the past, even if you have mm. been raped in the past, yes, there is a reason why God allowed it to happen. Listen to me carefully, because uh, if you don't listen to strong. me, you you can you can get angry. <laughs> so so if you have been raped in the past, and all you do every single day is blame the rapist and blame the rapist yes. and feel sorry for yourself yes. and all of that, yes. I'm sorry mm. you have been denying yourself the expression of God on your inside. Mm. That's what you've been doing. See, I want you to now stop blaming that rapist, that person that abused you, yes. that person that molested you. And now go to God and say, Lord, I know you allowed this to happen for a reason. Show mm. me that reason. Yes, sir. Reveal to me the purpose for why you made this happen. Mm. And I tell you, could it be that somebody raped you because God wanted to, God wants to use you to deliver other people that have been raped in the past? Could it be that God allowed that, that person to abuse you because God wants to make you a deliverer for those who have been abused mm. in the past? Could it be that you have been running away from your purpose all this while, blaming that rapist, blaming that abuser? Could it be that God wants to actually make you 
into someone that the whole world will know because of your mm. story. Mm. And that's why it's important to look back. Because mm. when you look at those past experiences, some of them could be negative, some of them could yes. be positive. How do you find the one mm. that is positive? Is to ask yourself this. What in my life, what experience in my life has given me the most joy? Mm. Right, right down that question. What experience mm. in my life has given me the most joy? That person listening to this, I'm talking to you. You would realize that there is a common pattern to that thing in your past that has been giving you the most joy. <laughs> they threw David inside the bush to go and be looking after sheep. What they did not know was that David was finding joy <laughs> looking after the sheep. Yes. In fact, he found so much yes. joy, he killed lion. <laughs> mm. He found so much joy because of one sheep, he killed bear. He, he found bear. so much mm. joy, he, he played the harp. Evil spirit was yes. even running away. <laughs> See, listen yes. to me. In some of those traumatic, tragedic, <laughs> I don't even know what the poor English is. Whatsoever the cheek <laughs> is. Uh, experiences of your life, there is purpose inside. There is yes, purpose sir. in your pain. Oh, and mm. that brings me to the next one. Look down. Look down. It's the mm. same, it's kind of similar to what we're talking about right now. Looking back speaks about both the positive and the negative experiences in your past. And of course, also look mm. at your childhood memories. Looking back talks about your childhood memories. There are some childhood mm. memories that, that never goes away. The reason why they never go away yes. is simply because they are connected to your purpose. They, they are, they, yes. oh, my, 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 I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The, the, the reason why Thank those you, experiences Jesus. don't, do not go away is simply because they are connected mm. to your purpose. They are connected yes, to sir. where God is taking you. They are connected to what God wants yes. to do with you. They are connected to where God mm. is taking you. Don't joke with them. The reason why they are not yes, going sir. away is simply because the Holy Spirit wants to mm. make sure that you, 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 you stay on top. Ma, 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 ma. You stay on top of it, it and, and use it for the glory of God. Remember where we where, where, where we're coming from the other time. Purpose. Yes. Yes. Purpose yes. is the expression mm. of God on your inside. Is the expression yes, of the dimension of God on your inside. And when those things do Thank not go away, Jesus. when those childhood memories do not go away, take note of them. Because of our time, let's talk about looking down. Looking yes. down are the negative things that mm. are happening in your life right now, or they've happened in the past. Mm. You can find purpose yes. even in those things that are negative. Right? Down talks about negative, right? Even in our down moments, we can still find purpose. Mm. Oh, oh. Yes. Ah, ah, somebody just me type that out. Oh, Even me. in our down Even moments, our down. we can still find still. purpose. Mm. Do you know mm. that, 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 um, what's his name now? Uh, I just lost his name all of a sudden. The, the CEO of Virgin Atlantic. Uh, um, uh, uh, I just forgot his name. Do you know he was, he was almost going bankrupt-ish, so to speak. And then there was a time he was, he was flying somewhere and then he heard that some people are struggling to fly. <laughs> Even in his down moment, he said, okay, all of you bring your money together. Let's charter a flight. And then they <laughs> chartered a flight. And that was the beginning of Virgin Atlantic. And today the man is... You know what I'm talking about. The point I'm trying to make is even yes. in your... Uh, Richard Branson, thank you, sir. Even in your Richard down Branson, yes, moment, thank you. even in your down moment, even in your down moment, yes. there is purpose calling mm. out to you. How yes, do I, how, one, of the, one, of the, one of the biggest things God has used me to, used, used me to do in the, in, the, in the country I'm living in right now, New Zealand, is to publish, is to write a book on suicide. One of the major problems in the country I'm living mm. in right now is suicide. At least two people die every single day to suicide in New Zealand. Statistically. Wow. Just about. Wow. Yeah, exactly. When I first of all had that statistics when I came here in 2008 to the glory of God, I, 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 I wept, I wept in my spirit. I was angry in my spirit. I was, I, I was angry at it. <laughs> I was like, I, ah, people just dying here. You know, and, and, and I remember not too long ago, not too long after that, after that, I, I, I first of all had that news. I myself went into depression. Because I, 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 would, I would tell that story another day. You know, I myself went into depression and I saw that there's a spirit in this, in this environment. And in that down moment, God, God said to me, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Literally, God said to me, what are you going to do about it? That was the thing. It was a cue to my own purpose. A cue to my own purpose. And then I wrote a book. I wrote articles about it. That article got me into the news, to the glory of God. Let's, let's, let's just pass yes. that. The next place to look yeah. is to look around you. The fifth one. The fifth no, the, is the sixth one. This is the is sixth, sixth one, one now. The, the look sixth back. One. Yes. yes. Look up. Look down. Look back. Look forward. Look. look yes. Look within. And then yes. sixth one, look yes. around you. Look around you. That's the last one. Mm. See, 
There are yeah. problems, there are needs in your environment that are always mm. calling your name. <laughs> Hi. Yes, sir. Those needs that, those problems that it appears is only you that notice them. That your friends cannot see them. Your friends, it's as, it's as if you are the only one that notices that there are poor people in your environment. It's as if you are the only mm. one that notices that there are school, children who do not go to school in your community. It's as if you are the only one that notices that people are not wearing shoes in your church. It's as if you are the only one that notices that people are not living hygienically in your community. It's as if you are the only one. And, 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 and that problem is just always calling out your name. But you have not done anything mm. about it. You know why? Because you keep blaming the government. You keep saying it's the government. Yes. the government that is supposed to do something about it. Can, can the government, you know, uh, uh, provide schools for those children? Can the government give money to those poor people? Can the government buy socks? for those children? Can the government do this? Can the government do that? That is your problem. You have been blaming the entire world, but yourself, all this world. You know why you keep noticing it? You know why it makes you cry? You know why it gets you angry? The reason why it gets you angry is because that is purpose calling out your name. That is purpose calling yes. out to you. God is calling mm. out for you to do something about it. <laughs> yes, That's sir. why when you come out of your house in the morning, you see those poor people, you are like, hey, yeah. Why would the government do something about it? You you go to the you go to the train station and you go to the fire station. You still see those poor people again, and you are angry. You blame the government again, and you go everywhere. You go to your school, you find them. You go. <laughs> it's like you can't run away from that problem. The reason why it appears you cannot run away from it is simply because it's calling out your name. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is why. It's simply because it is calling out your name. If you look around you, and there is a specific problem. And I, I was reading the story of Mother Teresa not too long ago. They talked about how when she was in Calcutta, in Calcutta in India, and she would just see all those poor children who, who are not going to school. You know, no one is feeding them. Mm. No one is doing anything yes. about them. Literally. You mm. know, and, and she, that was purpose calling out to her. She resigned that job where she was coming yes. from and came to who could live mm. in the midst of them. <laughs> like, okay, yes. mm. let me could live here and situate myself here and fulfill purpose here and do something about mm. the problem. Listen, you've been watching me for some minutes now and, you, and, and this word is tingling. This word is, is, is touching you. It's affecting you. The reason why it's affecting you is because there's a problem in your community that you've been blaming everybody yes. about but yourself. You've been, in fact, you blame God even. <laughs> and God is what mm. you are saying. You're not serious. You that have given you everything mm. to solve this problem. And you are blaming other yes, people. Mm. <laughs> you know, for me, in New Zealand, one of the things that angers me is youth just walking around like a headless chicken. That they, they've just been walking around, visionless, purposeless. It, it just angers me. It, it gets me angry. Or when somebody dies without fulfilling their purpose. Like I said earlier on, not, not should die unless the purpose is fulfilled. Anything that dies it's before the purpose yes. is fulfilled is murder. That's called murder. It's yes. suicide. Yes. <laughs> Anything that yes. dies before the purpose is fulfilled is called murder. And that's why it gets yes. me angry. And I didn't know, and in, in, this, in my initial years, I had no idea why it got me angry. I had no idea why I'm always mm. angry about it. I had no idea why I'm always sad about it. I'm not, I had no idea why I always weep for people who commit suicide that I'm not even connected to. The reason why it makes me weep, the reason why I, it makes me weep is simply because it's connected to my purpose. Mm. The reason why it makes me weep is simply because it's... Yes, it's written in my forthcoming book. To the glory of God, it's a prophetic yes. framework that yes. God gave me. It's an idea God gave me straight from heaven. And that's why I'm sharing it with yes. the world. And you'll find it in Purpose yes. and Crisis coming out soon, this year, by the grace of God. So the point I'm trying to make yes. is that problem around you. Let me, let me tell you this, this, this example in the scripture so that you understand the point I'm trying mm. to make. Jo John chapter 9, precisely. Yeah. John chapter 9. Let me, let me carry my Bible real quick. No, because I want to read it out. One second, I'll just get my Bible. Yes. No problem, no problem. Wow. I, I, I need to read out this, this scripture. I, I may deliver somebody today. That's why I have to go grab it. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about yes. that. Yes. John chapter, no, 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 in, problem, in, in John, in John chapter 9, the, Jesus was walking with his disciples. And guess what? They met a man mm. who was, who was born blind. Born blind. The man had mm. never seen anything. The man had never, he, he doesn't know color. He doesn't know light. Because he was born blind. Mm. And like you and I, like you've been doing now for some years now, you've been blaming mm. the government. The disciples mm. look at the man and said, let me read it too, so that all of us will learn from it. The disciples yeah. looked John at... Chapter nine. John chapter 9. The disciples looked at it and said, ah, <laughs> as Jesus was, let me read from verse 1. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciples asked him, why was this man born blind? Why are these people walking around with no clothes? 
Why are these people mm. not going to school? The same way you've been shouting. Mm. Why are the roads not tired in this country? Why is it that mm. there are people who just give back to children and will not take care of them? How come there are many motherless babies? How come there are these? How come people are sad in my environment? How come this? How come that? You are like that. You are, you are like those disciples mm. here. <laughs> and he says, was it because of his own sin or his parents' sin? In fact, they were even speculating about the problem. Yes, you know, like, yes. like, like you, you know, ah, it's because yeah, government, our course. government is stupid. Our yeah. government is uh, serious. Mm. Our government, they, they, mm. they are not, they, they don't know what to do. In fact, can you imagine? Mm. Mm, 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 Buhari is just there. He's not doing anything. Uh, let me use New Zealand example too, so that it doesn't look like it only happens in, develop, in the developing country. <laughs> Jacinda mm. is just there. She doesn't know what to do. Da, 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 da. And like I used to say too, they are not committing enough money into, uh, into the health system. If they are committing enough money into the mental health system, people will not be committing suicide. And one day God looked at me and said, what are you going to do about it? Yes, sir. I've given you everything to do something about it. Go and do Thank something you, about Jesus. it. Listen, you may never be able to solve the entire problem. But just like a piece of a jigsaw, in a jigsaw puzzle, mm. there is a role that God wants you to play in the solving yes, of sir. a problem. Purpose is the solution yes, to a problem. Purpose is an assignment. Mm. And when you find your place, let's finish the scripture very quickly. And we'll finish this and we'll just, we'll just probably stop because of that. Give room for question. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Number, number, verse 3 says, it was not, Jesus was the one answering here. Oh, and the yes. answer Jesus gave here, to the glory of God, you need to study it for like two months to understand this. Mm. It, the, the answer Jesus gave you, we have to study very well. It's the key yes. to your purpose. It's the key to your purpose. Yes, he sir. says, it was yes. not, verse 3, John chapter 9, verse 3, in case you're just joining us. It was not yes. because of his sins or his parents' sins, Jesus answered. Mm. This okay. happened so that the power okay. of God oh, wow. could be it's seen good, in him. Hallelujah. Drop mic. I, lo no, I, love no, way, drop mic. I love the way Good News Bible puts it. Good News Bible says it like this. In case you have a Good News version. He says, His blindness has nothing to do with who sinned or who did not sin. Did not sin. He was blind so that the power of God might be made manifest. I'm going to repeat it. His blindness has nothing to do with who sinned. The man was blind. In other words, that problem exists so that God can show forth his power through you and I. Hey, that problem in your community. Those children who are yes. not wearing clothes, those children that their parents have abandoned, that they, they, are, they are not hygienic, that road that is untied that you always see, the leadership problem in your country, in that country where you're watching me mm. from, it exists and you can see it and you always see it and it gets you angry because God mm. wants his power, his glory to be seen at work in you. Do you know what that means? It means that word power there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, let, let's not even start. That word power there yeah, speaks of ability. That God's ability might be seen in you. Remember where we started from? In case you joined us late, you have missed yes. a lot. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that power speaks will, of ability. We'll, we'll, we'll put out the video on the, we'll put, we'll put the story on my Easter, and, and I'm, I'm going to cut some. I'm even thinking of putting it up on YouTube if, if you permit and put up. Oh, please, you know, feel put free, it, I'll feel just cut free. it out, yes. Yeah. Feel free, sir. All right, all right. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Thank you. That power there speaks of ability. Remember where mm. we're coming from. Ability speaks yes. of the dimension of God on your inside. <laughs> hey, everything mm. we are talking about is connected. The expression yes. of the nature of God on your inside. That is it. So that problem exists in your environment. That problem exists in your community. That problem exists in your church. That problem exists in your nation. That problem exists in your environment. That problem exists in your neighborhood. So that the ability that God has given you, I feel like jumping on this chair, can come to life, will be seen in you by Mary, what is going to scatter. <laughs> so that the, 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 the ability that God has given you will be seen, will come to life. But your problem is you have not done anything about it. You have not made use of, it, made use of that ability. You keep blaming other mm. people. And that's why you are where you are today. Mm. And that's why you are poor. And that's why, many, that's why many people don't come to you for any solution. But the day you begin to give expression yes, to sir. that ability, to that power, 
and stop blaming who sinned, who did not sin, and mm. start to do something about it, your life will never remain the same again. In that scripture, Jesus said, everybody keep quiet. This man's mm. sin has nothing to do with this problem. His parents' sin yes. has nothing to do. God's power needs That's to be shown. And what did God do? God, Jesus healed him do? completely. Healed him. And yes. all the story ended there. <laughs> Mm. See, there are many people God wants you to impact their life, transform their lives through the yeah. ability he has yes. given to you. And that is the source of your wealth. That ability yes. is the source of your progress. That ability is the source of your influence. That ability is the source mm. of your significance. That ability is the source of your prosperity. But you keep burying it. You keep putting it mm. down. You keep thinking about what people will say. You keep thinking about the opinion of people. And you are losing, you are losing time. You are losing, I'm begging you, you are losing time. Now is the time to begin to solve that problem that has been calling out your name in your environment. Oh, this, wow. God is looking up to you. I love the words of Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. He says it like this. He says, remember the Lord your God, for it is he that giveth you power to get wealth. That power is not the power of, you know, uh, forgive me, Yoruba, Agbara, for those who are not Yoruba, I know Agbara, I did it. That are watching. You know, it's not, uh, no, that power is ability. There is an ability in you that God has given you to get wealth. Let me tell you another scripture mm. before we close. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says it like this. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God oh, and God. his righteousness. His righteousness. That word kingdom in Hebrew is, is the word Basileia. Basileia mm. simply means dominion ruling and reigning kingship yes. that's what it means so yes. when the bible says seek you first the kingdom of god it simply meaning seek you first the dominion that god oh if you watch this from the beginning you understand what i'm what i'm talking about so i won't go back there all right yes. but yes. if you did yes. watch it from the beginning you understand what i mean by this dominion this this thing i'm talking about here you know from genesis chapter 1 verse 28 seek you first that dominion the righteousness that you need will be added to you. Shandayaba. Let's stop it there. Thank you, Let's stop it there. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory what a great Jesus. honor. Wow. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Jesus. The problems exist because God wants his and glory to be seen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think we've been blessed. Can we, can we just, can we just get questions? I appreciate this. Is, this is a special one. I thank you. Thank you, glory Jesus, for the glory privilege. To Jesus. You know, you, because Jesus. I kept on saying to myself, what are the expectations? I was just searching, you know, and I just said, God, we, we spoke about purpose on Wednesday from, from my friend. And then today we're speaking about purpose. Why, why, why two purpose? What is the purpose <laughs> of this purpose? Mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And I, I see, I see it better now. Please, we have questions. We have questions that we want to ask. Um, I don't know if, if our father, if our father, uh, Pastor Wolio Ladin. Yes, so because, let daddy pray you know, for us. <laughs> let daddy yeah, pray that, for that, us. Yeah, that is going to pray. Yeah, that is going to pray. Like, like he says, he, he says he Jesus. wants to get to know you and, you know, and, and that is always Glory very, very God. careful. He, he brings around him. So mm. you've got the heart of God, God and you you've, you know. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Kemi Ogukwa is saying God bless. Yes, that's my sister. That's my, sis that's my sister. Oh, my oh sister, my celebrate you. <laughs> yeah, classy you, she says, okay. What was new? Yes. My wife okay, is watching so, uh, too. I, She's the one that will paint. Really? Yes, um, the love of my life. Oh, oh, oh my God. The one Can you only imagine one your treasure? Do, do share what? Yes, exactly. Your, <laughs> your, treasure. Yes, your treasure. <laughs> my treasure. I will tell you. I just, I just even painted that. I didn't even know. You know, oh God. Oh. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm, she's I'm, working. She, I'm she's living in in the Hosa room. In the Hosa room. In the Hosa room. <laughs> we celebrate with your two amazing boys. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory oh to God. God. Glory to God. I really, really, really like to appreciate mm -hmm. you, sir. I, I know, I know, I know you're going into another class on, on IG also. Are you also going to be going on IG? Uh, no, no, no. Um, other, so I, I, I have a, I'm right now having a 30 days boot camp for writers and I'm doing a Zoom, okay. Zoom live session with them uh, in another 34 minutes. So we can still take questions uh, if there are questions. Okay. 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 So, so what does it take for people uh, just checking up, you know, to connect to the, to, to the web now? Uh, yeah, what does it take to connect to the 30 oh, oh, days? Um... Oh, to the boot camp. Uh, we're already on day 15. Yeah, to the boot camp. It's too, it's, too, it's too late. It's too late. Oh, there's somebody asking okay. the question. It's too late to join now, but another batch is Pastor, starting I can, someone, I can someone tackle... I can someone... Uh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. I, I, I think can... someone was... Uh, 
How so can what's someone tackle their calling? Tackle their calling? Ah, tackle. Uh, I'm not sure what oh, you tackle. mean by tackle. Ah. Like answer their calling, <laughs> get into their calling. Yeah. If tackle means get into their calling, enter into their calling. Um, um, mm. Ta- Tavi Rose, God bless you. I want to believe tackle means get into their calling. Um, their if, calling. That, if, that, if that's it. See, one of the reasons why many people don't get, it, get into their calling is, the truth is this. Every assignment God has given to you is bigger than you. I'm going to mm. say that again. Yes. Every yes. assignment God has given you is bigger than you. It's bigger than your lifetime. And because of the size of it, because of how big it is, like when you see children on the streets who are not wearing clothes, who are not being taken care of, and you, you are, and that's a pull towards your purpose, and you want to take care of them. You, the first question your mind is going to ask you is, hey, you cannot solve this problem. You better gentle. Mm. <laughs> you better calm down. You know, and, and because of that, you go and calm down. You face your salary. And you, yeah. and you neglect that purpose. <laughs> and you neglect that purpose. That's <laughs> dangerous. That's very dangerous. And, and I understand. But the truth is this, you've got to start from somewhere. And that's what I coach people to do in my coaching classes. You've got to start small. Start with one person at a time. Because, and write this down, write this statement I'm about to say down. The more you do, the more you realize you can do. Let me say that again. Mm. The more you do, the more you realize you can do. Until you start, until you start to do, you will never know how much more you can do. And that's why it's yeah. so important to get started. The moment you get a clarity by the grace of God on that thing that you've been called to do, on that calling of yours, start small. If yours is to speak and people are not giving you platform, start your own platform. Open up your IG your line. Platform. And preach your, yeah, exactly. Yes. Create your own platform. Open your Facebook. Open your Facebook um, and live and, and, and preach and begin to preach. That's I remember preach. there was, there was, yes. there was one, there was one person that used to criticize me when I was, old, when I used to preach on Facebook live in 2015, uh, 2017, 2016. Mm. The, 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 guess what? The person is not doing Facebook live too. <laughs> The person used to criticize me and say, all these people that preach on Facebook Live. To the glory of God today, that person too is now preaching on Facebook Live. (laughs) The point I'm trying to make is this. Start small. Start small. Breed your own platform. And allow the Holy Spirit to work with you. Let God lead you. And you will soon realize, see, the, the greatest power of purpose is in the obedience to the calling. Let me say that again. Mm. The moment God sees that your heart is obedient, doors will begin to open. It will just start to connect you with people that you can never reach. People that yes, on a normal, on normal day, day. You, will, you will never be able to ask, ask Sasako how he got, how God connected. Those people, <laughs> probably, you know, through serving your purpose that God will connect you with those people. But, Oh my goodness. But I'm also supposed to be in another session. I'm supposed to be um, oh. sharing with um, the master's student at the Pan Atlantic University. On, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, yeah. I, I have a class for 11. I actually put it up for 11 because oh, I know no. that, okay, we'll yeah. be speaking from 9. Yeah, so, so I, uh, the person is just trying to reach me now to connect. So, no um, worries. <laughs> I would, in case she calls, I would just tell her that, you know, I'm running off and I'm ready. I'm already in the car to, to take the class. Um, oh. it's not basically to share my entrepreneurship story with, mm-hmm. with the, with, and it's still amazing how, how I'm sharing my story to, to masters, you know, where I didn't want to have a master. You know, I'm the only <laughs> master I have right now. That is purpose. That is purpose. You know, it's a master key to my, to my bedroom. Glory, glory, you know, and I'm glory, the master glory. in our family. Glory it's, to God. It's still Jesus. amazing about purpose, <laughs> you know. Mm. I, mm. I was sharing with my cousin, my big cousin yesterday, and I was sharing with him. I said, if I tell you I don't have this, will you believe? If I tell you I don't do this, will you believe that everything I've gotten is just because I discovered? You know, a few years ago, you, I, as a teenager, I, I, I sat down and I, I wrote down all my names, Sakwa, and I said, what name do I want people to keep future? I never imagined, mm. I didn't even know what branding was. I didn't know what, I didn't know what um, mm. being, being unique was. But How? I wrote down my name, and I think it was God inspire me to do it. I, I know it. I was sharing it on the plan. I said, I know that it's the Holy Spirit that, or even on radio, I said, mm. I know that it was the Holy Spirit that told me to write my name, Sako. I never yes. imagined it. If, if anybody had given me the name Sako, I would reject mm. it. You know, and God, and God began to inspire me <laughs> as a teenager. Mm. You know, you know, wow. and then I began to write wow. my name. I wrote wow. down all my names wow. and it became S Sunday, Ayodile, wow. Chukamado, Kundalai. 
allow okay uh, uh, pastor wale is here so let's uh yes dr sam um pastor wale is is here i just wanted him to just um uh, it's a great honor to have our, fa our father um in the uh, yes we're trying to connect with him um hallelujah praise sir, god sir. thank you How morning, you? sir May i'm very good sir thank amen you, sir, sir. I thank you sir you are thank you sir job. we you are doing thank a you, sir. Job. um this thank is you, a sir. very good platform keep it up thank you sir um, thank you sir speaker is a, yes an anointed speaker he's gifted yes sir um, yes sir. i will talk to you Let, let's meet so that we can talk about him later because yes. it's yes, a sir. guy that the whole world must listen to Amen. He has spoken I'm, some very key things, and you need to paste yes. these on your wall so that people can see them. But I yes, want sir. to put this caveat there. Oof. It's a spiritual caveat. You see, all these this, this principles, they are very germane. But you need to mm. pray into them and pray them yes, in. Sir. That's yes, where sir. prayer comes in. Now, yes, the sir. first prayer I'm going to pray is for mm. God to reveal secrets, to discover and fulfill purpose in life. The in the name of Jesus. The Tarot mm. 29, 29 says, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things yes, which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do yes, all sir. the works of this law. Now, yes, when sir. you were writing your names and pasting them all over, you, you yes, know, you, 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 are, you, you are painting a picture. God yes, sir. said to Abraham, Look outside. God was painting mm. the picture of his future. Just yes, like Joseph. I love that speaker. May the Lord bless that, that pastor. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Note Deuteronomy 29 29, combined yes. with Jeremiah 33 30. Jeremiah 33 30 mm. says, Call unto me now, and I will answer you. I will show you great and uh, mighty, mighty things, things which you do not know. Do not know. So, yes, I sir. ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. That everyone who is listening now, including our in the children, name of Jesus that yes, the Lord will reveal the secrets to discover and to fulfill purpose in the name of Jesus. Amen. This pandemic season is a season to rejig ourselves, to reinvent ourselves, to rediscover ourselves. I ask yes, that in accordance with the word of the Lord in Psalm 32 verse it, it says, mm. I will instruct you, guide you with my yes, eyes sir. and teach you in the ways that you must go. Everyone yes, receive sir. divine instructions in the Amen. name of Jesus. Divine Amen. guidance. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Let the Amen. Holy Spirit teach us. Teach us. In the name Amen. of Jesus. When Amen. you discover your purpose, that yes, purpose sir. will not be manipulated. In the Amen. name of Jesus. He Amen. suffers no man to do you any wrong. He rebukes yes, the sir. kings for your sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, I do my prophets no harm. Do my prophet your no harm. purpose mm. will not be manipulated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your purpose Amen. will not be truncated in the name of Jesus. Your Amen. purpose will not be diverted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your purpose will not be injured in the name of Jesus. Your Amen. purpose will not be lame in the name of Jesus. Amen. When God gives you this revelation, you will not forget in the name of Amen. Jesus. You receive the grace Amen. of God to fulfill purpose in the name of Amen. God the Father. The son amen. And the Holy amen. It is done. Amen. There is someone amen. there. I want you to say a big amen to this. As from mm. now, let the anointing for mm. global relevance rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anointing for global relevance receive in the name of amen. Jesus. Receive amen. in the name of Jesus. It is amen. well with you. In Jesus' amen. name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 In Jesus' you name, are set all blessed. Kudos amen, to you, sir. Kudos to Thank you so much, sir. Love Thank you. you. Doc, he, his name is Dr. Sai Kundayo. Um, is 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 a pastor. Yes, he, he is. He actually don't accept the word pastor. Is is a transform transformational speaker. He's going to speak to you. I'm sure he's going to send you a message now on Instagram so you can. Um, it, it, it'll, it'll be great. so honored to have you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. So I'm going to send Thank a message you, to you so that we can see this week. Myself and okay, you. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Yeah, Thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. I'm grateful, sir. Fantastic. Thank All right, you. Daddy. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you, Daddy. Thank you, sir. I appreciate right. you, sir. Right. Thanks, sir. Right. Thanks, sir. Right. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Lovely. Wow. And that was post Pastor Wally Oladin, uh, the senior pastor, Clam. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, yes, Dr. Sam. So I I'm sure I'm sure you're going to just um, um, chat him up and then let's, let's just wrap it up. Let me go live with you and quickly and quickly um um tell us how how to how to connect with you because i know that a lot of people are blessed right ah. now and um 
Wow, that was unbelievable. Dr. Sam, that was that was that's, that's, unbelievable. That's what we're just talking about, about. That's the power of purpose. purpose. By power mm. of purpose. You know, few, few, few. Our, our God ladies in my heart. He was even inspired by one of my mentors, um, um, wow. Pastor God Ubame. You know, for for the past two weeks, all I was just doing because you know I I, I was in the UK when when this pandemic uh, started, and I had to I had wow. to come in, cut short my my trip. You know, and then wow. I had to stay in the BQ. My wife had to, didn't allow me to come into the house. I had to stay in the BQ to isolate myself. You know, and just yes, when sir. I was in the BQ, I realized that I had a lot of messages. I had a lot of Tony Robbins. If I started listening to Tony Robbins, you know, for the hmm. first time this past three weeks, wow. you know, wow. and one of the things he talked about, Awaking the Giant in You, one of the audio mm -hmm. of his mm -hmm. book, I said, listen to <laughs> yeah. it. And one of the things, mm. you know, one of the things he said in the book was, you know, he says information is, you know, a lot of people say information is power. You know, say, mm. but information is not power. Information is potential power until action mm. is put into it. Until action is taken. Yes, sir. I, yes. I say it like so this. All... Information is free. Transformation is not free. <laughs> yes, mm. yes. So a lot of people get information. Mm. A lot of people are getting all these things, you know, and then they are not using it, you know. Mm. And they ask mm. the question. Some of you have had words. People are stirred up right now. People are saying, I want to do things. And those, and those, they check their account. It doesn't even correspond. Now it's not about <laughs> money. It's about all mm. the, yes, mm. it's not about money. You know, it's about creating the information, creating uh, and beginning to put action into it. You know, mm -hmm, until, mm -hmm. and, and then you made a statement. You said the more you do, the more you realize you can do. The more and you realize truth. you can do. Yes, sir. Because the truth is, yes, at sir. the beginning, you say, how would I do this? And then until you start, mm. until you start, you nothing. You know, uh, somebody I even said, you don't have to be great yes. to start, but you have yes. to start to be great. <laughs> Hallelujah! Let me write that one down. You don't have to. You don't, see, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to be great to start. You don't have to be great to start. God. Mm. Ah, mm. you don't have to be great to start, but you have to, to start. start to be great. Yes, so mm. yes, so yes. I, 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 I really, really do appreciate you. In case people have questions, and then people can can connect with you on Dr. Sam Ekundai mm. on 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 Instagram, yes, and then yes. there are you a lot can of follow me, send me a DM, anything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You 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 thank you've you, done you've done amazing you things. You blessed me. You have blessed. <laughs> my, sister you, said, you. my sister came. My sister came. and said, "I'm having goosebumps. I'm having more than goosebumps." Yes, I, I, I'm I've had several goosebumps. In fact, the goobs right oh, now, the goose right now, they're looking for the ganda. You know, <laughs> I, I I really I really do appreciate you. I trust Glory God. To God. I look forward to meetings. Mm -hmm. I I know that. I'm looking for, you know, my fear, and, and my fear is another, is those trips coming over, you know, coming over is the longest trip I would, I would Don't come, worry, I, you will come, to come to. you will come by the grace yes. of God. It's, it's been part of my goals, in fact, early this year, or last year, we, I just started walking, bringing some of my friends, comedians, who will, mm. go, will go have a tour over there, in, you know, and I trust God that we're going to come over. When Amen. everything is fully set, Australia, we'll, we'll, New Zealand, we'll, we'll, by the grace we'll of God. Amen. I know, Amen. I know, I know. It's, I, I know. I know. It's not far from here. It's, it's part yes, of the, sir. you know, is that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you greatly. Uh, yeah. Amen. Ah, uh, good. You know, it's about 30, It's about twenty-five, twenty-five, uh, twenty-five hours to thirty hours to get to you, right? Very, very, very close. Not to uh, just twenty-five, thirty hours, and uh, you'll be here. From Nigeria. <laughs> I yeah, wish you divine Nigeria. success, sir. Not... Divine. I'm glad that you are discovering your purpose in New Zealand. Let me discover my purpose in Nigeria. <laughs> this is the new Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. My sister says, my sister, uh, uh, Mrs. Kemi Adenuga says she knows, she knows your family. I know Dr. Ekundayo's oh, family. Oh, glory to God. Yeah, she, glory she, to she's God. a fantastic ah. artist. Ah, um, ah, and and, ah, and, ah, and, ah, and ah, my pastor's wife. I will wife. follow her. I will follow her. Okay. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm follow, sure she's going to send you a message. Yeah, she, she, she's. Yeah, thank you so Glory much. I thanks for your time. Glory. I need love. I, I should be thanking uh, you uh, for Mrs. this privilege. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Um, Mrs. Akunda, your thank you, Dudu Shewa. Thank yes, you, my. So. Appreciate you. <laughs> thank you for being a blessing and a great treasure to this man that you are lying to do this purpose. I'm sure you're Glory fulfilling your own Jesus. purpose. You, you know, he's a gardener. He's is a lifter of people's Glory head. He's Jesus. helping people. Thank you. Uh, this is this is all beyond what on on on, on Monday. If you're, if you're here, we're going to be connecting to Doctor Godwin. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Uh, Pastor Godwin Obama, and then on Wednesday, Please I'm going to be talking to a psychiatrist. Um, or is it I speak to a psychiatrist about mm -hmm. what with mental health, or I speak to mm -hmm. Pastor Midred Okonkwo? Awesome. Pastor Midred Okonkwo awesome. is going to give me a date on 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 yeah. 
you know, give me a, a day, whether Wednesday or, or Friday, then Friday we'll talk to psychiatrists just to get ourselves yes. better because the truth is, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, we appreciate yes. you. Thank you for having us. Glory to uh, God. God. Bless Glory you, to God. Thanks for I having me. I look forward to, to seeing me. you and talking to you again. I'm sure I'm going to talk about something Same, else yeah. before. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. Yes, I will yes. send you a message immediately after. Please, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank sir. you. Thank you.